Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're talking about things I wish I knew when I was transitioning or rather tips that I wish I knew when I was transitioning my curly hair. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I wish I had known when I was transitioning, and this would have helped me a lot mentally. So when I was starting to figure out the curly girl method, when I was transitioning my hair, I don't know why, I, I kept obsessing over curly hair on Instagram. And Instagram is so intuitive, right? Because if you're looking for something, they're gonna bombard you with the most beautiful pictures. And what you need to understand is your hair is going to transition and it's going to look really beautiful, but it takes time, right? And I kept looking at different girls with different hair types and uh, it became a little unhealthy because I kept looking at curl types that were not my curl type. Now look, when you're first starting, you will have a rough idea of what your curl type is, what your curl pattern is. That is, whether you're a 2B or a 2C or a 2A. I initially thought that I must be a 2A, but I was obsessing over 3B hair and I kept wishing that my hair was 3B and I kept looking at these pictures and hoping and praying that my hair would get there. And this is something that I wish I hadn't done. Now look, it's really nice to follow girls on Instagram when you're getting educational content from them. But if it is something that is not going to help you, which means to say if you're a 2A and you're following girls with 3B hair, that's not going to help you because it's not, it's not realistic for you to look at somebody else's hair and expect your hair to become like that or lust over it or not be happy with it. So you're a curly girl, but you've just about learned to embrace your own curls and you've already started wanting something else for your hair, something that your hair could never become and then being unhappy about it. And I wish in the beginning I didn't do that because our journeys are going to take some time. And look, today I've reached a place where I'm so happy with my hair. I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't want anyone else's curls. But in the beginning, my hair did not look like this. My first wash was not that great. So I wish I hadn't spent so much time focusing on other people's curls and wanting to change my hair. I wish I had embraced the fact that I was curly and that, you know, whatever would happen would happen. But I needed to just let it happen in its own time. And I wish that is something that somebody had told me before going into CGM. So now I'm telling you, don't make the same mistakes I've made. Please follow girls with the same curl pattern as you. If you notice yourself lusting after a curl type that your hair could never be, then I would say just stop. Unless, unless that page is giving you some educational content, then for sure. But uh, nip it in the bud, if you see that the only thing that a particular curly girl is giving you is this sense of envy and this sense of, I wish my hair was like hers, then don't do it. Number two, focusing too much on product. So you've bought a shampoo, you've bought a conditioner, you've used it once and you've already decided that you hate it. Look, you guys know that I swear by wow now but the first time I used it, I was so not happy. I was using Umberto Giannini before I started using WOW because that is what I picked up when I was in Dubai. The packaging was pink, it made me feel really happy and then I came back to India and I wanted products that I could get here. So I bought WOW, something about WOW didn't make me feel very happy and um, first wash I was like yeah, I don't know if I like this second wash I was like yeah I don't know if I like this so what I did with wow was 
you know how you have ghar ka kapra and you have bahar ka kapra so you have like home clothes and you have outside clothes so i took my amboto giannini and put it very safely in my toilet and said that this is going to be like my gig products and wow since it's available in india this would be like my you know like if i'm staying at home and i don't have something important it would be like my lockdown products and using it using it using it using it a few months went by and then one day i had to go out so i said hey i'm going out let me use the amboto giannini and when i used it i realized that oh no i like wow better so don't be too fast to judge a product you have to understand that initially whatever results that you're getting right your hair is still transitioning you are not 2 years down the line where you know exactly how your hair behaves and transition your hair is not going to be that great so what you need to understand is in the beginning if you have failed wash days or your hair is not looking perfect or your wash day wasn't that great that's probably because you're transitioning don't blame the products another thing that i would say is don't use a product once twice three times four times decide that you don't like it and then jump to another product because again i'm telling you you're transitioning your hair is probably not acting perfect because of the years of abuse because of the years of uh, silicone use sulfate use paraben use all of that so don't attribute your month 1 month 2 month 3 results to the product itself i would say please give it a chance do not wash your hair once with a product and expect it to magically change your hair just like cgm doesn't work in one wash a product is not going to work in one wash either if you feel like a conditioner is very greasy for you and you've decided that hey i have low porosity hair and this is probably for high porosity hair dilute the product You don't have to go out and buy another product because you've heard a different review. Now, when it comes to jumping from product to product, you have to understand that what works for my hair and what works for your hair will be completely different. Just because I tell you I like a product or you've heard someone saying that they like a product doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So, I would say yes, it is helpful to check out reviews and to listen to people who you trust, but there is no guarantee that someone else's experiences would match yours so don't rely so much on reviews try to give products a good chance use it for a really long time and then after that decide if you like it or not tip number 3 you tried a technique it didn't work for you your hair didn't look good so for example let's say you tried an upside down styling technique you did it once your hair doesn't look that good don't decide that upside down styling is not for you because you would be so wrong and so <laughs> narcissistic to think that you did it perfectly the first time so if i give you a curling iron today and you've never used a curling iron before and i tell you that hey curl your hair you wouldn't expect to do it perfectly right in the same way if you've never done a blowout like a professional blowout before and i tell you hey Here's your blow dryer. Do a blowout. You can't expect to be getting salon-like results, right? So, when you're working with a particular technique, and I have so many of you DMing me saying, "Hey, I tried this technique, and you know what? It doesn't work for me." Or you know, "Hey, I tried that technique, or I tried this, and it didn't work for me." Even with this whole trend with the net. plopping right so some of you are messaging me saying that uh, i tried net plopping and it did not work for me at all so that's not how it works you're silly i'm sorry i'm saying this but you're silly to think that you used a particular technique and you did it perfectly the first time so no matter what you're trying give it a few weeks there will be a learning curve please don't expect to get it perfect the first time don't it's not reasonable whatever you're trying give the technique just like with the products give the technique a few weeks at least and then after that if you feel like okay this technique or this product is not for me then you've made your decision but at least you know that you know you've done it perfectly and you've done it well and therefore it doesn't work for your hair so that's just the point give every technique that you're trying a few weeks and then see if it works for you or if it doesn't 
I have so many more tips. This was more of a rambly video because uh, sometimes I don't feel like making everything structured. Uh, I'm on YouTube to sort of make friends, get to know you guys, talk to you guys, share my thoughts. So sometimes my videos are not going to be super structured and to the point and cut and crisp. Hopefully you guys appreciate that about this channel. We're just friends hanging out. Um, so yeah, that's all I had to say. If any of these tips helped you or if you have any tips, if there are any lessons that you've learned the hard way, then please share them in the comments down below because you never know by sharing whose day you can change. I mean, someone could be watching this video and might be in like a total funk about what they're going through and probably feels alone. Maybe you guys know what it's like to go through CGM alone. Uh, it's difficult because you'll have a lot of people judging you. You'll have a lot of people telling you, e, your hair looks so frizzy. Are you actually, is this what you're doing? You know, you're going to have so much judgment, okay? Trust me. There's so many people who won't even understand what you're doing. And there'll be so much judgment that comes your way and you won't know what to do with it. So please uh, talk to each other in the comments down below. If you have anything that you want to share, anything of value that might help somebody else, leave it down in the comments down below. If you want to reach out to me, then come and talk to me on Instagram. I'm there. I haven't been there recently because I've been really busy with my gigs and stuff. But yeah, you know, if you message me, I pretty much always reply and answer your questions and stuff. But it would be even more helpful if you leave your questions, your feedback here because other people, everybody is not reading my DMs. But if everybody chooses, they could go through the comment section, right? And maybe you could leave a gem there that could help somebody else out. All right, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this chatty video. Um, let me know if this is something that you want to see on this channel. Let me know if it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube still tells me that 80% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you're watching my videos in the first two hours and you're not subscribed and you're doing it continually, you might as well just hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video when I post one. All right, guys, you want to talk to me? Come say hi on Instagram. I am Curly Girl Michelle. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.